We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. It's time for Padres baseball. Next. You Darvish will be the man on the mound for the Friars. Dan Plezak, what do you got? You Darvish is what you look at when you're looking for an ace. Big, strong guy came over from Japan, 95 to 97 miles an hour, all the way back from Tommy John Leading surgery. Tonight, Has the curveball, the changeup, and the, the slider. Will throw any Tommy pitch at any count. Justin. One of the top pitchers in the game, and you'll know early if he's seeing a lot of swings and misses and strikeouts. It's going to be a long day for those guys swinging the bats. Pitch, seven o'clock. And it's fouled away. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. And he fouls this one off. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back to back cutters like that, we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. Into right field, that's a base hit. That accepted. The right field is on the bottom. Mike Yastrzemski digging in at the plate. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Now the 1 0. If you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher, you got to find yourself in some great counts and he certainly worked himself into a nice 2 0 count right here. A runner at first with no outs here. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. The 2 2 is swung on and missed strike three. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. Standing in now, Donovan Solano. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And he popped him up. Coming in is Myers. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. 
That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. He had clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Here's the first baseman Brandon Bell as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. One ball and one strike to the Giants first baseman head to head numbers with you Darvish he's one for five. Now a swing and a miss and he's behind one and two. He's going to step out of the box adjust his bat and gloves and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one because if it comes again we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. Fouled away. Here he comes again, one, two. Skied into very shallow right. Myers is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. One hit, one left. Giants zero, Padres coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Kevin Gossman the native of Colorado gets the start on the mound. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey this guy has a four pitch repertoire right and those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft you can go in and out and anytime you have four pitches if you can throw them for strikes you have the big advantage and the hit will be Trent Grisham. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first for the Padres the center fielder Trent. The pitch. The swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Oh, he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. Oh I love that pitch right there up and in jam sandwich. Now the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Dubon has it and there's one gone. Batting second. The left fielder. Tommy. Pham. Next to the plate for the Padres Tommy Pham. First pitch on the way. One out, nobody on. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. After falling down 0-2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two. Hey I get it he wants to set up that breaking ball down and away but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close. The one and two pitch. Takes this the other way to right. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Hey, the leadoff man wasn't able to do his job, but the number two hitter that came through good. right there with the single, the setting the table for Eddie. the big boys. Machado.
Here's Manny Machado now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Man at first for him following the one out single. He's running. Grounded to short. Throw on to first, two gone. Got it, cool. So a man at second here with two away. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. He's set and the pitch. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two out here and a runner at second. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. One ball and two strikes to count. To two balls and two strikes now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Padres leave one. Still no score. Here's Buster Posey now. Leading off to the dime, the catcher, number 28, Buster Posey. First pitch on the way. Cut what fastball up. inside, ball one. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know, Kenny Jansen, Dero, he's kind of hard to figure out. Doesn't give a lot on the edges. He'll make you bring the ball into that plate. Yeah, Dan, Kenny Jansen is definitely consistent, and he'll reward pitchers around the knees. But on the edges right there, sometimes it's hit or miss. Darvish pauses. Here's the 2 1. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but. Then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. One and oh, the count. No score here as we play inning number two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Head to head numbers with you, Darvish. He's gone three for six. He's taken him deep once. That's lifted the other way out to left. Fam is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Bases are empty here with two away, and stepping in, the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Man, this pitcher is on right now. 
pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Fouled off. Ready to deliver the one and two. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Giants are down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So now to the plate, Will Myers, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home the half of the second. Will. From the stretch. The 1 0 home. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2 and 1. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Yastrzemski's got it and there's one gone. Batting six. The second baseman. So bases are empty with one gun, and that'll bring up Jake Cronenworth. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Next to hit is Jorge Mateo. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Here's the 0 and 2. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. We'll move to the third with no score. And now in the box, Mauricio Dubon. For San Francisco, the center fielder, number one, Mauricio Dubon. First pitch on its way. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Fam will wait on it. And he's got it for the first down. Up next, Kevin Gossman. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. 
Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. Third inning no score to this point. A ball and two strikes to the Giants pitcher. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it well hey that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact he probably can't do anything with it anyway. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location. But he threw that all out the window to get that strike out. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Here's Tommy Lastella now. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. One for one with a single so far. The 1 0. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Fam is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Giants down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So here is Victor Caratini. He'll step in to start things out here against Kevin Gossman. Victor Caratini. Now here's the first offering. Comes set and the 0 1. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Good eye to lay off the slider there and he works it to full three and two here. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. He's set. Here's the three and two. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Finally, up to this point, the entire lineup had been swinging at anything close. And this guy decides to show a little more patience at the dish and is rewarded with a base on balls. That was a good at bat. Brian O'Grady will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that well, was really two. well Number executed, two. Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball yeah, middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. So now to the plate Trent Grisham as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the 0 1 
And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. All even now, two and two. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. A swing and a miss for route number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Into the box now, Tommy Pham. Ball one. He singled in his first A.B. The 1-0. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And a relay to the plate. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. And in steps Manny Machado. And he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. With two outs and a base open, I don't think he's going to see anything to hit miss at bat. Not much reason for it. Two and one. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. The two one pitch. Swing and a soft liner. And this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Last chance coming up for the G Men. It's one nothing San Diego. Ryan Weathers, a six foot one inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here. All set for the start of the inning, and now stepping in is Mike Yastrzemski. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. The one and no delivery. Put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Myers going back to the track, to the wall. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to straightaway right field, and this ball game is tied at one. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. To the plate now, Donovan Solano. 
As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 1 0. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Again, he sends it out of play. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Now this is on the ground for Hosmer over there at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up, up to the bag. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Brandon Belt. One run in and one gun so far in the inning. Here's the first pitch. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Fastball at the knees, maybe even below the knees, but it's strike three called, and there are two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Buster Posey is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the wind, the 0 1. And the curveball's in there, so he's quickly behind, nothing in two. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. Ah, when the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Bottom of the fourth coming up. All even now at 1-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Eric Hosmer. And now pitch on the way. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly, and there's one away. Now at the plate, Will Myers. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Set here it comes. One run, two hits, no errors in the ball game for the Padres. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. The one-two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Yastrzemski is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. The batter, number nine. So the next Second to bat will be Jake Cronenworth. Jake. Flew out last Cronenworth. time up. Cronenworth. 
first offering. Bases are empty here with two men out. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. The three and one pitch. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. That's a dangerous pitch right there. Down and in slider for a called strike. He misses a little bit out over the heart of the plate, and that ball might not come back. Belt will take this one himself, and that ends the inning. Padres down in order. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. And back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with their manager, Gabe Kapler, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Now to the plate, here is Alex Dickerson. He'll go to work trying to do something about breaking this 1-1 tie. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. Padres are going to get something going out in the bullpen now as a left-hander has stood up to throw. The 1-0. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. <laughs> Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Now the 2 1 pitch doesn't hit the target it's ball three Brandon Crawford waits on deck and he drops a change in on him there and that'll run it full three and two oh and look at this high in the air and deep and when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. A two run blast to straightaway right field. As they've taken the lead, it's three to one. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. First time up, he went down looking. Now the 1-0. Lifted down the line and left. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. A ball and two strikes now. Three runs, three hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Two balls and two strikes to Crawford. And 
and that's low so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change if he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit. Into the windup ready with the payoff pitch. And another foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Right side but it's well foul. Four foul balls in this A.B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Stepping up to the plate Mauricio Dubon as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one flew out in his only at bat so far. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And there are two away now. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Kevin Gossman, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And now a pitch on the way. The 1 0 is swung on and missed, strike one. Yeah, he just wasn't on time right there. Front foot not down in time. Nothing happens before the front foot can get down. A little bit outside. Two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Swung on and missed, and the side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Last chance coming up for the Padres. It's now 3-1 to one San Francisco. Stepping up is Jorge Mateo. He'll lead things Hold off as we begin the home fifth. That's shortstop. Jorge. First pitch coming, here it is. And it's fouled away. The 0 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Way outside. One and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit back up the middle. Crawford fields it cleanly. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini, though they might pitch around him here with a couple of bases empty. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. The 
one one home misses down below the knees. Swing and a screamer but this one's not going to stay fair. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another 2 2. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Tucapita Marcano will be charged with the job of getting that guy home as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at third. First pitch on its way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to first and the ball game is over. Big win here. Airtight defense. The pitching was pretty good too. It's kind of weird. Very rarely are you going to win very many games when you only get three hits. Timely hitting, good pitching, and big defense still can win you ball games. Tonight's ball game comes to a close, three to one. The final. The San Francisco Giants used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Kevin Gossman earns the victory on the mound. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Our final line score tonight first for the victorious Giants three runs on three hits no errors and they left one man on base for the Padres one run on two hits no errors they left.